welcome to another video. Today is actually going to be another wig review. This time it's from a company called Everyday Wigs, and I actually have a discount code for you guys. If you use the code BEGURU, B-E-G-U-R-U, you can get 8% off your purchase at Everyday Wigs. This company sells a lot, a lot of really nice lace front wigs, so be sure to take advantage of that discount code, B-E-G-U-R-U, for 8% off. And that is about it. Let's actually get started with the review now. So the wig I'm going to be reviewing today was shipped out on the 18th of September. I actually got a text message, which was really kind of neat, uh, saying that like, hey, your wig has been shipped, it's on the way, expect it by Thursday. And then I got another text message on Wednesday saying, oh, just kidding, it's here a day early. So I got it yesterday on the 20th, I think. That was some really fast shipping, I'm just saying. It also comes in what feels like a box. There's a little bit of weight to it, but it's not super, super heavy, like I'm gonna like lose my arms kind of heavy. And another thing is that there was also a tracking code that came with it, but shipping was so fast that I didn't even need to look up where the package was. Like it was just bam, at my doorstep. Although be aware that since these are really expensive, really high quality wigs, you do need to sign for it. This is just security. It's honestly a good thing. That way you're not gonna lose your package and honestly I, I like it a lot when companies do that because I feel like, oh I'm definitely going to get this. There's no way like it's going to get stolen or lost or anything like that. You have that sense of security. Let's unwrap it now. Is this even real? I'm sorry, just look at how pretty this box is. I am like, just, it's so pretty. I'm just like fangirling over these. These like super, super pretty flowers on the package. <laughs> I'm already in love, and it's literally just the box. I haven't even seen the wig yet. So inside the box, we have both a comb and a wig. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is just what's on top, which is the wig brush. It has like a very unique shape to it. I've never seen brushes shaped like this. It's just made out of plastic. All of it, the little spokes on the comb are plastic as well. So also in the bag is a wig cap. This time it is one of the solid ones rather than one of the netted ones, which are the ones that I normally use. Uh, these are a lot better for lace front wigs. They give you a more realistic scalp, so it's honestly really good that they added this in there, especially if you don't own one. The face on the cover though is kind of creeping me out. And the last thing in the bag is the wig. Just from looking at it, I am a little bit concerned. I could have sworn that the one I ordered was, like, blonde. Supposed to be blonde. Like a platinum blonde. This one looks very silvery to me. Um, I guess I will put on a comparison when I try it on later. There is netting around it, as you can probably see, to keep the wig intact. It's really silky soft, and it's like kind of curly in the back. There's also lace on the front of the wig. This is really good when they leave you some. This means that you can shape it to your hairline and you can cut it accordingly. If you're cosplaying a character with like a specific weird hairline, then you can cut the lace to look like that. And if you uh, flip it inside out, the front of it is all made out of lace, the hairline part. And then there's also these little clips on the inside to adjust it. Not to mention the little bands too, the elastic bands that all wigs have. Although it's really unique that they have these, so you can just stick those in your wig cap and it's not going to move. I guess I'm going to try this on. I might have to do an outfit change because I was expecting something to match this. Strange. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. So I actually went back and I went through my emails to see uh, like which wig I sent them because I'm like, oh, maybe I accidentally sent the wrong link. And uh, no, I'm not really sure what to do, but the wig that I was supposed to get, which I'll put a comparison over here, was a 24 inch blonde wavy wig at approximately $94. I'm not sure which wig I'm wearing now, so I can't like say, oh, this is X amount of dollars. But generally the wigs on everydaywigs.com are in 
the 90s range, 90s to 100s range. I am a little bit disappointed that I was not sent a blonde 24 inch wig since obviously that would be like down to here, not down to here. But this one is really, really pretty. It is honestly such a pretty blue gray color. Uh, it's also remarkably similar to my normal hairstyle. If you have ever seen me out of cosplay, you can probably tell this is exactly how I part my hair. This is like naturally what my hair does too. It like kind of looks like this, although it's a bit longer and like a million different shades of blonde. It is a really nice, really beautiful wig. So if you are in the market for some lace front wigs for whatever cosplay you may be on down that path, uh, please go check out everydaywigs.com. They also have a Facebook and an Instagram, so definitely go check them out. They are very nice quality. I just got sent the wrong one by mistake, so I will um, see what's up with that. But thank you guys so much for watching for now, and I will see you all soon. Bye!